That was mm -hmm. recently. Recently. Mm -hmm. So, you, so what you're saying is that the what everyone has held is the Mayan timeline of right. 2012. Yeah. Actually, there's a new timeline. It's another timeline. Mm -hmm. That that's right. interesting because yeah. that's yeah that's more in line with with um, sort of where my thinking is mm -hmm. that there's not well it, you know it's kind of like the new millennium. <laughs> Yeah. Everyone felt okay. Everything's gonna shut down, and and you know, and there was all this preparation and all of this, and then when it happened, everyone was like, "What did we just spend the, the last twenty years?" Did you remember? <laughs> everybody on? was so upset with me because I refused to do a show on Y two K. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, but then a lot has to do with trust. Mm -hmm. Um. If your guides or your guidance or whatever, it, uh, like you have, it's a two-way street. You have a responsibility. It's like I have, um, I have a good relationship with my guides, mm -hmm. but at the same token, I respect them. It's very important to me, and and I'm on call 24/7. But when something comes my way that could hurt me or harm me, I fully expect get a little help from above. You, you know what I mean? Right. And you trust that. And I okay. trust that. Yeah. So when um, so when people don't have that relationship and that trust, mm -hmm. uh, some religion might call it faith. I don't call it faith and trust. To me, it's different. Two different things. I agree. Mm -hmm. I have a unconditional trust, but that goes two ways, mm -hmm. y you know. Yeah, no. So you trust that they will guide you, do and they and and there's trust on their part that you'll do what they, you know, when they yeah. advise you and guide you. Yeah, and and it's the same when I'm on a trip. Like I had to go. I went to uh, to a wedding a few, couple of weeks ago, and like a couple of days before, it says, uh, "Gotta leave at one o'clock." Now the wedding's at four. Mm -hmm. One o'clock. I didn't leave five minutes till or five minutes after. I went at one. And then, uh, of course, that's uh, uh, a bicycle uh, driver got killed. Mm -hmm. Now, had I been there before or after, you know. And so when you when you hear things like sometimes, uh, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the back here. I was heading towards Scott Lake. And I was halfway down 93rd, and it said, go back and check on the coffee pot. Oh. I turned around and came back and checked on the coffee pot. Of course, there was nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. And then I started my journey again, and then there was a nasty accident at the stop sign. So had I continued, that would have been my accident, you know. Yeah. So listening, so it's important listening. to listen. The, the trust, yeah. And yeah. act upon. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, so that's, uh, I, I think that's really cool. And that's, I think sometimes we talk ourselves out of it. Yeah, that, that's it. Like I, like I told you uh, a, a while ago is when when you get that urge mm -hmm, to, mm -hmm. to do something, do it, drop everything, do it right now. Because if you say I do it tomorrow, you, you're out of time. Yeah. So that could be why sometimes uh, we feel like you can just feel the clock ticking. Yeah. Gotta do it. You know, yeah. I'm running out of time. And you and I've actually heard it in my head. Yeah. Running out of time. Running out yeah. of time. And and just kind of focusing in on what that could, what that means, mm -hmm. and then acting upon it. Yeah. No, I've never really. We, I've never talked about things like that with anybody. But it just occurred to me when you have some of these nuts, like the men that shot Gifford. You know, Congresswoman Gifford. And when they say they heard it, do you, it's not the same thing, is it? Uh, that they heard. Well, well, when I made the comment that you have to trust, mm -hmm. um, I'm not talking to people that hear voices. Oh, right. Uh, yes. Uh, drug interest <laughs> or anything like yes. that. You, you know what I mean? Yes. It's uh, a different. It's, it's uh, Yeah. We live in a different world, so because we liable for what we say. So I don't want nutty people to think I'm talking to them. I'm not. <laughs> you know it's, what I mean? It's good to make that distinction. Yeah. Yes. yes. That's a different kind of a... That's a different setup, mm -hmm. yeah. So I, 
hate to think somebody said, well, you're the one that said it. And look right. what happened. Yeah. Know? So when when I, to be clear, when I say it, it's because I, I'm a clear audience, I hear. Right. There is a difference. I don't really hear voices. But <laughs> yeah, it's a difference between clear, a between that and madness, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you in charge of the world. What are you going to do? Ensure people have food to eat and health care and I'd start there and uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. If you didn't have to go to work or anything, and uh, you could just get up and do whatever it is, what would it be that you would? What would I do? I think I would just. I don't know. I I think I would. I would. I would find some way to, to engage people and, and talking, get people talking. You know, I think, you know, something that we heard an awful lot about in, in the 90s was, uh, was actually how I met you about, you know, having, getting like-minded people together and, and, and actually and talking. Mm -hmm. And and discussing what's going on and 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 where we you know exploring you know where we come from and and the lessons we're learning in life. I, I think that's what I what I would do. I, I would want to. I don't know. Perhaps go out on the road like as you have in, in the mm -hmm. past and. Uh, talk to people and, and, and share, get people talking and share their stories, experiences and lessons, you know, that, that people are learning and, 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 you know, as they make their way on this journey. Mm -hmm. Who was your, I wouldn't say idol, what's the other word? Mentor? Well, that's another word. Mentor is a person that helps you. Idol is somebody that helps kind of shape your thoughts. Mm -hmm. The way I think about it. Role model. Role model. Mm -hmm. Role models. Hmm. You did throw the mold away when they made you. You can't even find a role model. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or there's something uh, uh, lacking. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's so many pieces of, of wisdom that that I, I, I take from so many people. I mean, you know, when you first said that, I I don't know. It just I, I my mind goes in a lot of places, but the very the 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 name that that just kind of you know speaks out to me is. I don't know, Sidney Poitier, I... Oh, yeah. I just... It, but, but see, he has that same energy that you resonate to. Do you ever think of that? I hadn't, but yeah. I same mean, energy. Just, yeah, he just kind of screams at you, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Him and Cicely Tyson both. And Lena Horne for some reason. Yeah. Lena Horne and... Uh, but so many. I mean, it, you were um, in. You were in an earlier discussion today. You were talking about how music mm -hmm. helps uh, shape the important moments in our in our lives, mm -hmm. and and just different moments in our lives. And there, and I agree with that. I mean, because there's so many like amazing people, like um, I don't know, Etta James, and you know, mm -hmm. Lena Horne, and uh, just. All yeah. these Sarah Vaughan and all these fabulous, you know, singers who 
Those are the kind of people I think about. When I... Yeah, but one of, one of mine was uh, Mary McCabe. You, you don't know who Mary McCabe is? Oh my, my, she's the South African singer. She sang Pata Pata. Oh. You don't know who Mary McCabe is? No, I don't think I've ever. Next, sure. next show I'm doing with Deborah, we're going to talk about Mary McCabe. I'm going to educate you. Okay, educate uh, me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, no. But most, most people like that, they're activists within their own rights. They, they have very strong convictions and, yeah, so. Well, I'm almost out of time here. Uh, I don't, at this point, I don't know exactly what I'm going to work in okay. uh, behind that to make, uh, to make a full show. So I think the next thing we're going to go to is a surprise. Okay. Yeah. It don't stay away so long this time, huh? I won't. I cool. Won't. Yeah, and if you find your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, I want to know about that too. <laughs> Okay. We'll be first to know. Yeah, so give our best to your hubby. Thank you. Uh-huh. And uh, tell him I am not remodeling hoses these days. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for sharing yourself with me. Did we leave any, out anything? Is there anything that we leave out that's important to you? Mm. No, nothing I can think of. Okay, that's it then. So we're going to go to our surprise, huh? Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. This is Mike with a visit of, for a person of high strangeness. And uh, we're here. And uh, we're trying to uh, get things together. One of the things we want to talk to you about is always carry a compass, a map. This one's of Washington. A uh, cell phone. Naturally, your keys, a hat, a shirt, and water when you go on a hike like this. Now, we're here at the Ice Caves. It's 25.7 miles away from Granite Falls. And we're, he we're headed east, and uh, that's about uh, the way it is right now. And so we'll let you know further about what we're doing and where we're going. We're going to walk through and, and take pictures individually. Mike, uh, we're going for the Big Four ice caves. We're going to walk up there and take a look. Uh, to the left over here going that way, like this, is a picnic area that you can go to. There's an asphalt walkway, and then right here we've got a gravel walkway, and it's going up to the ice cave, so that's where we're, we're headed. Yeah, off to the both sides we have kind of a swampy area. It, it's uh, filled with water and with plants and different things. And it's on both sides of the, uh, the road here. And so we're going to head right up towards the ice caves. Oh. 